Hey, welcome back to Root Beer Gamers! We've chosen objects. Okay. Amy, what'd you pick? A teacup. Doug, what'd you pick? A uh, playing card. Ashley, what'd you pick? Broccoli! And I chose root beer. <laughs> oh, wow, that's, um, that's impressive. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how likely it would be for people would, for people would think you were a wizard if you traveled back in time to the Middle Ages with only the selected objects. Start debating now. Okay, I'm sorry, broccoli. people probably wouldn't be impressed by teacups. No, they people probably wouldn't be impressed no. by broccoli. They'd be impressed However, that I could time travel with broccoli. It, I think broccoli I think it's either being... playing cards or or root beer. I because well because they had like did they have like beverages? No, it was kind of all ale back then, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so root beer would probably be but the it's with only uh, and it's root beer like was originally it. introduced it's as a medicinal drink. It's with only that tastes the, fucking uh, delicious. But it's with only the selected object, and they'd be impressed with like, oh, you time traveled with that? Oh, I traveled. Wait. Traveled in time using the object or traveled back in time with the object? I, I would say traveled back in time with the object as as in, as in we as came in, with it. In, you travel and, and you're we like brought it to there. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I figured. Oh. Like, hey, oh, look, okay. flashlight. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I'm kind of a I, wizard. I, I'd give it to Root Beer. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Root Beer as well. Okay. And I'm. Well, well, still going with playing the playing card. cards. Playing card. Okay. Yeah, because then I would be like, this is how you settle all of your gambling debt. And, and depending then on I'm... where you went back, they would not have had broccoli yet, but I'm pretty sure everybody had teacups. What if it was? What if you just merged and it was a teacup full of broccoli? <laughs> 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 I mean, you could just hit random. Honestly, they're pretty yeah, close. Yeah. Okay. I keep Are we doing the, random? I keep forgetting I the random buttons. I don't know there. if random does it with the last two or if it. I probably. Well, I can't it. not they unpick. So. Random it. Or we could just flip a coin. That's also an odd option. That's also Heads random. For Heads for Vera, tails for mine. Here we go! I like how I fuck this <laughs> shit. <laughs> tails. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Good, th good thing we had this talk. Yeah. Alrighty. That was worth it. Okay, um, I could I like finally that. spend some- my stats are decently balanced. I don't think I have to worry about that too much at this point. Especially considering it's a night before the dance. But it would be an opportunity to hang out with someone. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my creativity really. But, uh, fuck, I don't know. Well, logically speaking, I should raise my boldness or I should do one last thing to try and raise some random stat. Raise money. <laughs> or you could go cash, buy something. Cash money, you're right. Cash, cash money, baby. I like that, that day you sp oh wait fuck you tricked me Doug what money's not gonna fucking help me I don't have time to buy shit money is good for I was stats. joking okay. fucking mining some bitcoins yeah. it's a dramatization this shows to have something to do with solving <laughs> algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency but you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works yeah anyway you gain two bitcoins which is equal to Two million dollars! Wow. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so two money. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Our economy is in shambles. Yeah. Shambles. Yeah. That's what I said. In sandals. Our economy is in sandals. <laughs> <laughs> with that out of the way, you hurry away to your fucking Miranda. meeting with Miranda. Oh, Miranda. Well done, co Oh, so Operation Liam's Make Liam Popular Again is a rousing success. And for the record, I did discover that Liam was popular for th a three-month period in the early 16th century. So the name is. Raise your voice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you speak very quietly. Yeah. Isn't that ironic, though? Because in real life, I really don't. Yeah. yeah. All that remains is for us to wait for prom and celebrate our... Your deception! <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. My idiosyncrasies are remarkable, but they aren't that marketable. This was all a cruel joke, wasn't it? A bet between two popular kids so they could make an outcast loser into prom king. Well, guess what? The circus is over and this clown is climbing into his tiny car and going home. Along with like 12 other tiny clowns of the metaphor holds, which it doesn't. It was a bad metaphor. Goodbye. No, Liam. I wasn't trying to be mean. I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't even have bones. You might check that affirmation <laughs> later. <laughs> oh, fish sticks. If we don't do something to fix this, all our hard Wait, work and substitution that, that will was, be for I'm naught. sorry, no, was that a boning joke? Yeah. Okay, cool, just making sure. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> subterfuge, right. But how can we make amends? Surely not with some sort of overwrought romantic gesture defying all logic? You tell Miranda not to worry. You've seen plenty of teen rom-coms. You know how this part goes. 
You need a grand romantic gesture. Race to the airport to confess your feeling for Liam Ford's his plane. Which... <laughs> And then the others pay a million people to spell it. I'm sorry. Why does it always pay a million so people? You more, your money and charm is the same, so. Yeah, but but here's the thing. I actually unironically like the movie Love Actually. So uh, I've never seen that movie. Oh fuck! I we're gonna have to. to we're we're gonna have to watch that, that, that this Christmas. I would like to see it. Anyways, that doesn't matter because it's Halloween. Oh, your charm is enough. Wait, how did you know Liam was about to board a plane? Are you stalking him? <laughs> yes. If you are, that's fine. Isn't that what all romantic comedies have ever taught us to do? Anyway, you find Liam in the international terminal at Spooky Airport, waiting in line to board. You pass through an airport security by telling them you're there for a romantic gesture, because airport security might say no to terrorism, but they can't say no to love. You're too late. I'm going to, Bel uh, to Bel Belarus. Belarus. Be Belarus. <laughs> I'm going to Belarus, where my calculations have revealed that nobody likes me and I can go back to being unpopular. You grasp Liam's cold, dead <laughs> hands in yours, and with perfect sincerity, tell him what he means to you. <laughs> don't you see? <laughs> you don't need to flee to Belarus to be unpopular, because you will always be unpopular in my heart, which is, coincidentally, about the same shape as Belarus. Oh my god. I don't know what to say, mainly because I don't know what you're talking about, but if I don't understand it, that must mean it's art. You said art to me. Oh, how could I ever dream of leaving you behind? <laughs> Alright, if it makes you happy, I'll return to Spooky High School and don that heavy prom crown. But only because I know that no matter how popular I get, there will always be one person who thinks I'm only so-so. <laughs> <laughs> the people in the airport line clap and cheer. Future Michael put in some applause, clearly not understanding anything you two just said to each other. Liam accompanies you back to school and you gain two creativity and one smarts. Also, you should visit a hospital since your heart beating. <laughs> Being a shake of pillars can't mean anything good health-wise. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck do you want to do, Doug? <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, I'm fucked anyway. <laughs> um, so in that case, you just have to gym. max out the one stat that you have. Creativity. Yeah. yeah. Which is... Send me to the outdoors. The outdoor, the, uh, or, no, or that's the, a the auditorium. auditorium. Yeah. That day, Sweet. while rehearsing for the class <laughs> play, you needed to do a terrific job I am job a dragon. <laughs> Not some, some guy that met at the bus station <laughs> in a dragon suit. <laughs> All right, time to get sued for copyright. Yeah, we love you. We love you, NSP. You do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. Nice. Damn. <laughs> Roses aren't a valid turn to your stat in this game. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm, seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet. Sweet, you gain two creativity. I'm very creative, but I'm not smart. <laughs> or fun. <laughs> you're casually reading the latest issue of Monster Magazine when you're rudely interrupted. See, even Cardus, a sensible monster with a good head on his shoulders, has a, and at least some plus smarts, is, reveal, is reading Monster Magazine. Yeah, and that's bad, because we're warriors, so we need to fight. Scott takes the magazine from you and punches it. <laughs> Hooray! Let's go solve an, another of the world's major problems. Why does he have an unknown on his fucking... Those are birds. I'm... They no, they're like, unknown. Yeah, they're, they're unknown. unknown now. No, Scott was social justice warriors. You see, Cardus, ever since our major success with the Fangle's goat head debacle, we've taken it upon ourselves to stand up against injustice. By punching magazines. <laughs> no, Scott. As you no doubt noticed, Monster Magazine's sexiest monster alive this year is Count Victor von Mosselbard, the werewolf prince slash bodybuilder. That makes him the fifth royal werewolf bodybuilder in a row to earn the title. What of those with the leaner physiques? What of our representation? <coughs> so when- and then, fuck. So now we're in dear- fuck. Yeah. Endeavoring. <laughs> so now we're endeavoring to get Monster Magazine to name someone from a more marginalized community as the sexiest creature alive. Like, unknown. Yeah. We just need to figure out a way to convince them, since I guess punching the magazine wasn't good enough. That's easy. All you need to do to solve everyone's bad body image issues forever is... Make your own version of the magazine featuring a three-winged chupacabra <laughs> on the cover. Lean heavily to the warrior part. Storm a monster magazine and hold the editor-in-chief captive until he promises to stop exclusively promoting one aesthetic as the pinnacle of monster That's sexiness. That's gonna be boldness. That would probably be bold. 
That's gonna be the other one. Maybe creativity. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that one. What a brilliant idea! Three winged chupacabras are definitely an undeserved, uh, un underserved population. Undeserved. Undeserved. <laughs> undeserved, ma'am. <laughs> the sequel to Undertale. Yeah. <laughs> underserved. <laughs> Fuck. I've played sports game against. <laughs> <laughs> I've played sports game against someone exactly like that, and he's always wanted to be a model, but never thought anyone would do, want to do pictures of him. Now we can! You can and you do! You do the pictures and make a mock of your own monster magazine. It goes hella viral, and before long it's becoming more celebrated than the actual monster magazine. Pretty soon after, you get a letter from the editor-in-chief officially admitting defeat in the face of your superiority and relinquishing his magazine and headquarters to you. Sweet, now you have a magazine, which instantly brings you three money. Wow. Fucking sweet. Oh. Okay. Hey, uh, I know you're about to move on to your next misadventure, but I just wanted to say really quickly, as pretty much the only girls in the school shaped differently than the rest of our classmates, it was really nice to see a three-winged chupacabra celebrated over a royal werewolf bodybuilder. It gives us hope too, you know? Huh, that was actually really sweet. The Coven is so much cooler when they're not babbling on and on about the end of the world bullshit and expecting your help with it. It's way more fun to interact with your classmates when they're complimenting you instead. Nice. Hey, where do you All want right, to so that was a thing that happened. That's real quick. All where right, so you're super smart. You're super fun. You're not very creative. So you can't think of anything to you be smart get your about. Your charm or boldness <laughs> to a double digits if you did that. Your creativity's pretty fucked. And I can't raise it anymore because everybody already went to all those. Yeah, places. so in that case, you're fucked. You could go get get super smart. Super smart, get your charm to 10, or get your boldness to 11. You can get those in the double digits. I just realized Let's get that, boldness that to 11. there was a whole magazine thing which went hella viral, right? and it's yeah. the same evening. Yeah, that, <laughs> I was going to comment on that, but honestly, that seemed less fun. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny, big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. What? That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. <laughs> nice. Oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day. I hope someone can share in my joy. My great aunt sea monster, unholy terror, McCracken face o Cthulhu, <laughs> has just received an award for her work with shipwrecks. She's now one of their leading causes. I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the postal service will go near her. Her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to, to deliver this important and time sensitive missive. Why is a letter of congratulations so time-sensitive, you ask? Jesus Christ. Well... It's because of... Well, you see, it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions to do something congratulatory for herself, you know. I can't tell if this is suspicious or stupid. <laughs> Just get her the letter. There's something fishy about this <laughs> request. Badoom! But <laughs> but you've never let that stop you before. You come up with a foolproof plan. Hire Scuba, the under underwater taxi service to deliver. Okay, the that's really you. fucking funny. Scuba toilet. That's good. Dive into the sewer and swim there yourself. That's cool. This sounds creative. That's bold. That's bold? Mm -hmm. Dynamite. That, that, that sounds bold. I mean, I mean, listen, I don't fucking know a goddamn thing. And not one to make money. True. Which you've got seven of. Yeah. So either one, I think you're fine. And I don't think scuba is that expensive. But he's gonna die because nobody wants to deliver. I've heard it's stuff. cheaper than Sklift as well. <laughs> we can't really turn that into a into a ocean. A, a not Squid. fun. Yeah. Squid. I don't know if Squid. I want to swim there myself because I would just I don't know. Is that more boldness? Yeah, that's boldness. You have eleven. You're probably good on the boldness front. <laughs> Let's just do scuba, I guess. All right. He's gonna die though. Not, Not so well. Money. What? With just a touch of a button, you're able to call a scuba driver to your school. You give him very specific instructions that, as to the latitude and longitude, but conveniently leave out the part about the sea monster. Oh. A few days later, you see the fruits. Demer. Demer. 
of your labor. Um, a missing scuba. Oh, right. Um, a missing scuba driver turned up drowned in my kingdom, and now an Al Jazeera fish <laughs> article is accusing my father of kidnapping and murder. Uh oh. You kill one delivery man for being late, and suddenly every driver found drowned in their car near your castle is your fault. Thanks for framing my father for murder. Who knows how many journalists he's going to give to take care of? It's going to have. Blah. He's going to have to take care of this time! Fuck, we should have dynamite the toilet. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Plus, later she passed you an index card with a frowny face drawn on it, <laughs> which is pretty harsh for Miranda. Oh, Ouch. man. You lose two charm in one fight. I knew I should have gone oh, with shit. boldness. At least Fuck. I'm not the only one who got fucked this game. <sighs> yeah. Farah, your move. I'm moving. going outdoors. All righty. That day during You threw out your hip! Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> you start a half hour rate that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magical Latino cat. Hey! You start telling him that hilarious Wait, story of what happened last <laughs> summer at Monster Camp. You I know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll, the president, the penguin what? mask, and the, myst the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into too fun. Yeah. You come to as if someone had not been knocked out or drugged or something to the sound of. Welcome well, back to season two of the Interdimensional oh Bachelor. God. Today's competitors are last season's flaw in the clock's Vera and an army of sexy werewolves. Oh. Hooray! Oh. What What's the up, fuck? losers? For the last time, fuck, bitch! I'm not a werewolf. <laughs> not, but you have a fiery temperament, wolf-like drive, and killer abs, so it's close enough. Yeah, bro, one of us, one of us, one of us. I thought we were going to do a sports game. Sports game. Sports <laughs> game. We are, my dear army of sexy werewolves. And Vera, we are. In fact, it's time for our first round. Are you ready? Sure. For your first test of speed, strength, and skill on the Interdimensional Bachelor Season 2, it's time to see which of you incredible Lycans. Lincolns? Lycans. 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 Yeah, Lycans. Yeah. Cool. Lycans. I don't know. A goddamn thing about wolves. 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 <laughs> wolves. Can you, can you sign a nameless legally binding document that is in no way a marriage contract the fastest? You can see the werewolf's tails wagging in anticipation, ready to prove themselves the fastest, bestest athletes. And Damien is cracking his knuckles, not about to be outdone. I just like the, I imagine he just punches him in the, in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't step in, at least one or two of these th people are going to end up married to the prince out of sheer hyper-competitiveness. <laughs> Thinking quickly, you... Oh, man. Sign the name of Terra. I'm gonna the eat the contract. Yeah. Fast as lightning, you sprint over to the table where the marriage contract sits and devour it. You, we just got an achievement, achievement by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. True, true to yourself. Hi. Uh, huh? Hi. Honestly, I have no backup plan. That was it. I was really, really counting on the athlete's sense of competition to immediately drive them to sign the contracts with no thought whatsoever. I was just so confident in that that. Hi. Well, I suppose you can just go home now, then. <laughs> See you next scheme. <laughs> man, if he calls that a scheme, that's pretty embarrassing. Who would actually fall for... Aw, oh, man, no fair! She ate the contract before we even got started! Rematch, rematch, rematch! Oh, if we're doing a rematch, I'm definitely going to sign the contract so good, so fast. You and Damien hustle the werewolves out of the prince's dimension before they can accidentally marry themselves <laughs> off. And so you all remain single happily ever after, free to take whoever you want to prom. Damn, you my two stats fun are and good. one smarts. Damn. Yeah, fuck. We all got fucked. Yeah, that's great person. that you knew of the game before us. I didn't know all the answers. You know what? Yeah, let's just accuse Ashley of cheating. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Who am I going to ask, ask to prom? Fuck, I could ask out one of, well, two people, really, that I actually spent time with. Or you could take yourself because you're... Uh, or uh, I could stay true to my morals and not ask anyone. Or I can ask the prom king. Yeah! yeah. And you did spend the most time with him. Okay. Hot damn! Ask him to prom? Sure. Let's see if it works. Uh, and who do you want to ask? Uh, you want to ask Mermaid. I mean, I really wanted to ask Polly, but I guess I'll ask Miranda. Because I never got a chance to hang out with, with Polly. So, yeah. All right, My, Amy. who would you like to spend Werewolf time with? Werewolf boy. Wait, Not gonna lie. Him or Demon boy? 
Him Listen, him. I'm not gonna lie, I would personally choose Magnus Burnsides, but that's a personal thing, so. Demon Boy or I'll, I'll go with Wu. Uh, I don't know, because this one's angry and that's so fun. But, but the better. other one, the other one is a great big sweetheart that I'd probably just He's just a big of. old puppy dog. He is! He's just a great big puppy dog. And I'm like, oh, I would I could never get mad at you. But the other guy I'd probably fight with. This is true. Um, okay. Do you want to flip a coin? Should I hand you the coin? <laughs> the coin. Because I don't know who I spent enough- I spent more time with the puppy. You did spend more time with the dog. It's also determined by stats as well. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Shit. Uh, uh, I don't give a shit. Whatever. Wait, For what's, what's my I should, I should have asked huh? Polly if it was No, Your charm is, is six. Uh, Miranda, I believe, is creepy. But I'm gonna guess he doesn't- does he care about charm? Oh, she's probably or, fun, yeah. I suspect yeah. he's fun. What about- I wonder what Demon Boy cares about. You want me to tell you? Boldness, no, probably. Anything. Probably boldness, huh? Yeah. Turns out he's money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, she's probably money. I mean, her. her oh, I shit, tell. yeah. Huh? Oh, I could ask a girl, too. You could ask a girl. I mean, and and the, I agree. Oh, fuck, and actually, and you're not very, limited. You can ask whoever the fuck. And they're, yeah. and they're very cute girls. They I'm are. Not, they are pretty cute girls. I'm leaning toward Polly myself. As the I'm not gonna player. lie, if it weren't for her personality, I would ask Feffery out. Yeah. Actually, for cutest girls, I'm actually going with- with Polly. With, uh, not- well, it's between Polly and the character that she's playing as. Let me- I'll go with Puppy Fair. Boy. I'll go with Puppy Boy. Magnus, Magnus <gasps> Burnsides! <laughs> yeah. Or Scott, seems whatever. seems so sweet. And Vera, who do you want to ask? I'm asking Ghost Polly. Girl. Yeah. Yeah, there's never a zombie there. and a ghost Aww. together. That's adorable. Cardiff. All right, did you get? You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to monster prom with you. Duh. What? I'm sorry to tell you this, my friend. Speak up. Sorry. But I think your princess Aww. is in another castle. <laughs> Duh. Duh. It's okay. Oh, epic loser achievement unlocked. <laughs> Aww. Duh. It's okay. You moved on from this horrible and shameful experience. You become a functional person, and eventually you meet a sweet banshee called Ash. Aww. You shared lots of common interests, and after dating for some years, you married. Aww. One day, in the middle of a casual conversation, you mentioned how you couldn't get a date from oh. the prom. Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such a pathetic revelation, and so Ash abandoned you. <laughs> Next. What, what the, the fuck? hell? Oh, no. It's fucking stupid. And thus, you live the rest of your life alone and sad. Never forget, Monster Prom is the most important thing. <laughs> bullshit. This game is bullshit. All right, Hi. Uh, you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Oh, Prom? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you're so out of shape. My grandma always said I need to mate with an alpha specimen so we can breed strong babies. Sorry. Oh, he says oh, no. no. <laughs> you couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. Actually, you couldn't get a date for the rest of your life. Oh. Some nights, alone in your bed, you wish sadness was an <laughs> STD, because at least then you wouldn't be getting so much of it. Oh. Oh. Vera, you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Prom night? Yes! You seem like the kind of person that would have us both ending the night in the hospital! And that's the kind of unnecessary danger I like in my afterlife. Ashley, you're about to die. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! It's time to make some wild and poor life choices! She's already a ghost. You're gonna die. Yeah! yeah. Heck yeah! Well, she's dead too! Casanova, achievement unlocked. Yeah, but like, she has a body at least still that can end up in a meat grinder of some kind. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Prom night was nice, but a bit bland for the likes of you. Well, you decided you to spice ghost. things up by summoning some interdimensional nightmare creatures because interdimensional nightmare creatures know how to rave the night away. You and Polly held hands while admiring how the interdimensional nightmare creatures wrecked havoc. What a night! Me. Yellow. Who could have foreseen this? Liam and Yellow, prom royalty. That was unexpected. Achievement unlocked. Yeah. <sighs> We did it! It oh, was, it was all our plan! We fought for love and love won. Liam is popular again. Huzzah! A anyway, after all these years spent avoiding cliches, this doesn't feel as bad as I imagined. Maybe doing a 180 degree turn from cliches is good, but embracing cliches is like making a 360 degree turn from them. So disruptive. At that moment, Miranda becomes distracted by some other wacky plan and leaves you with Liam mumbling to himself. Such a lovable dork. Prom night arrives, and the two of you decide to embrace all cliches, from slow dancing to actually having fun. After the coronation, Liam admits he's having a great time, which is causing him to reflect on all the cliches he's avoided all these years, which he could now embrace. Then he puts his hands over yours and says, 
And you know what the biggest cliche I've been avoiding is? Love. And I don't even care how cheesy that sounded. Boy, Boy that was cheesy. <laughs> but you know what? You don't care either. Yeah! I knew I should have gone with Demon Boy. One new secret ending this run. Holy shit. Yeah, Liam. My best at actually learning something in school. Liam, most likely to work in something no one understands. <laughs> that sounds about yeah. right for him. Holy shit. There's a damn. lot of fucking outcomes. Holy shit. Yeah. God damn. I think we're going to well, play this a bunch of times now. Yeah, this is going to be a party game. We're going to play on our own sometime. Yeah. yeah. I'm, hella, I'm yeah. hella down. Hopefully I don't get fucked again. My glasses didn't even help. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that turned out to be bullshit. Are, what are, the fuck is Ditto doing in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> those are characters those we randomly encountered. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. After some years, the prince's dimension became a democracy, mostly due to the public's discontent with a royalty that spends most of its time in other dimensions. Despite that, the prince keeps on annoying high schoolers, still wrong on so many <laughs> levels. Scott became a world renowned athlete. I, I know what I said. I didn't even say renowned right. I know. So there was all sorts of stuff wrong there. Yeah. But he ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of athlete he admired the most. Now he's here again at high school, working as coach. Wow. Liam started an iconoclastic band that broke all conventions. Yeah. Their latest album has been a hit. It has no songs at all. The album is actually just a banana set on fire. And be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. So, uh, I guess that yeah, was Monster, guess. Prom. Monster, Monster Prom. Monster Prom. What a game. That was actually really fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, um, Ashley, um, thanks um, for um, introducing um, this game to us. You're welcome. Yeah. I figured you guys would yeah. like it. No, that was cool. I like the costumes. Hey! Cosplay ideas? Yes, we should do that for the week. I, I, can totally be Polly. I can totally be Polly. Holy shit. Duh. That would be awesome. We can even gender bend some of them if we decide we don't want to take the costume. Fuck yeah, I'm playing it. I'm going to Halloween as Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I want All to right. be either Snake well, or my character. I want to be Polly. Well, we've got uh, too, we've got some uh, some more. Me, you know, the Hall 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 Yeah, October. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy October. Crossbow. You'll probably see more on this channel. Yep. How about probably. that? See you guys. Wow, this was the shittiest ending we've ever fucking had. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? That's right. Let's liven things up. Future Michael, do something exciting and interesting. Exciting and interesting. Oh my Holy shit! Oh my that. god! Oh my oh god! That. Look at all those cool Damn. colors and lights. That looks so Whoa! Awesome. I'm gonna have oh my god! And <laughs> and it's still going on. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Wow, future Michael, you saved the show. Thank you. <laughs> you See you guys so on whatever the fuck we yeah, play next. Yeah, we have other yep. series, so watch those maybe. Bye. See you Bye. guys. Hey, those awesome guys. They're talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> She's so into it. Nothing as sexy as a beautiful mind. You just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. Yeah! Put that in the, end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs>